Hey all, Board Game Rants here, where you'll find everything solo tabletop gaming and more. Thought it might be kind of fun to watch me die playing the unforgiving game of Dawn of the Zed's 3rd Edition. Here we go. Okay, so we are not going to be trying to teach you how to play the game here. I'm just going to demo it, and I'm playing on its hardest level. Dawn of the Zed's is much like a, well, a zombie apocalyptic game. I've got the cool little town of Farmingdale here I'm trying to protect. We're going to have zombies coming in out of the forest, out of the mountains, off the highways, out of the tunnels, and the suburb track. And these are these are random, you know, level six guy there. It has to do with their strength eight. The game was already unforgiving with my random draws here. Le two level eights. Oh my goodness. But I've got some people here, some heroes, randomly drawn, three of them, and then I pick one. And then I've got some heroic civilians. We've got some along these paths here. We got ourselves our villagers and our civilians that are uh, defiant right now. They're not. They're not going to move back to Farmingdale until they get pushed back by these zombies. Oh, and they're going to get pushed back. And I got a pretty decent roll here for supplies and ammo. Here are my starting heroes. Here is my starting civilian hero. Let's get after this. I've played this a number of times. I'm going to do my best to play it accurately, but there's a lot to keep track of here, so bear with me. But let's have some fun, shall we? And it all starts with the flip of an event card. So, what do we got here? Some wandering Zeds. So we don't have to worry about the 4R yet. There's no Rangers, Raiders, or any of those things. We don't have an infection level yet. We don't have to eat anything, apparently. And Zeds. Okay, so we're going to be moving up on these tracks. However... Being in this phase, make a fate draw. Okay. Select. Oh, yeah. Yep. Select any civilians or hero unit on the faded track, but no. So what? Uh, what's our fate draw? We got... Um, we're at the forest. Okay. So the forest. The only civilians we got right now are these defiant civilians, which are no longer defiant because we had some wandering Zeds just uh, wandered into St. Thomas there. And these guys got to fight. And uh, they're, they are no longer defiant, which means they're going to be able to retreat and move around if they want. But we have to look at this now. I love the way the battle things is set up. So hand-to-hand. -hand. Hand-to-hand, -hand, first and foremost. We, um, whenever you go hand-to-hand -hand with some Zeds, you risk infection. So that infection level goes up. It says we're going to be equal. But then we're going to have a human advantage because we get to shift one to the right. Because we're dug in like, like an Alabama tick over there in... Where was it again? St. Thomas. So we're going to roll these dice and use this column here to determine what happens. We rolled a nine. That's pretty good, I think. So uh, the Zeds would have taken three damage. The We would have taken one. The Zeds would retreat. But in this case, um, according to the card, yeah, we... Uh, da -da -da -da, we suffer losses, but we don't retreat. So... So that wasn't too bad. We take one point of damage, put that little heart on there. I think these guys are going to stay defiant for now. I believe those are the villagers. And we're now going to go over here. Oh, rescue signal. We get to complete this card. Hold for later. Play it at any time to receive two supplies and two ammo. Ooh, shnikes. I like that. We'll put that right there. Okay. Now, we're going to go over here. And now we got to do this these tracks. So first, the highway track. The Zed on the highway track moves. Zed on the suburb track moves. And lastly, forest track moves. Again, that was just uh, some random Zeds that popped up, but they don't really weren't represented by a tile. Just we battled them off. A little skirmish. And now we get a whole one action for this round. Great. That's always nice. So, what do we have here? Yeah, we got Alyssa Darling, Rusty Staub, Horatius, and uh, Professor Agi is who I picked because I wanted a scientist. And I didn't draw any random scientists. So, uh, we got a super uh, uh, a monkey that um, cannot be infected, immune to being infected. So, that, that's helpful. Rusty Staub here is um good at forging always gains a supply in addition to the result can do a ranged attack without using ammo awesome he's lucky sort of saving roll rugged so it takes damage a little we got both these guys stab and Alyssa are rugged so whenever they take damage we get to roll to see if they actually take 
damage and then zen oh this is nice so if i use these cards on this turn that i use the card she can use her zen and take an extra action it's unique to her mother invention this is who i'm going to be counting on to be doing some research right over there we got to do some research we gotta we gotta develop the super weapon if we, if we even have a chance and the farmingdale furies these guys can't do gunfire attacks but they are they're uh pretty brutal six you know they've got some strength so let's keep let's do it so we got one action um can't do well two actions because we got our, our our player action token let's see uh what we want to do here i think level eight holy moly okay i'm gonna oh <laughs> i was <laughs> yeah let's just go ahead and start moving people in position we're gonna move the um this guy he is a what is he? he's not a forget how many spaces he can move that is the security security three spaces okay so three spaces one two and you can move right through the catacombs can these security guys because they're they're good in the tunnels i think i'm gonna leave him there i don't want to necessarily move the catacombs so right there one two three i could possibly get there next turn if i wanted so that'll be our first action and then uh let's go ahead and just get our scientist in the laboratory so that maybe we can start doing research um Zen Alyssa darling she could take an action so I could do this I might as well spend this now and get a couple supplies a couple ammo one two one two then once per turn when you play a hold for later fate card she gets an action to spend only on her so we'll spend her she can move five spaces so let's see here we got a six advancing there five here five there let's go these guys already took up took us you know a damage from some wandering zeds let's have her move one two three four five up there to start helping those guys out right on okay i don't think i'm gonna have her go yet she can take an action of her own if she'd like but she'd have to risk infection um so we'll just go ahead and reset reset we're good we're good we're good on to the next. Now we shift to the right one, so it's equal. We got an even Steven battle again. I get to grab two dice. We roll them. <gasps> That's not a good roll. And a three to four. Ugh. Terrible. So the Zeds take zero damage. The civilians take three damage and have to retreat. Not good at all. And there was an infection. Risk. So these guys take a one, two, flips them. Three damage. Things go south really quick. These guys become refugees and they are fleeing and now the zeds move into ingeberg and start spreading chaos we've got 12 chaos tokens here if ever i have to place a chaos token and i cannot we lose if we don't make it to the end of this deck before the zeds reach town center we lose that's it <laughs> okay um pretty simple you know how we win and lose immediately place Oh my gosh, the infection to 13 and conduct an unchecked outbreak. Great. So, should have just used her ability. And of course, so this goes all the way up here. Unchecked outbreak means we draw this fate card. Ugh. And we're at the highway. We're going to take, so not out of the little, little dinky Zed's cup. We're going to take out of this big cup. Not looking, not looking. <clears throat> we got to put a mega Zed out or whatever these, um, um, these are the worst Zed's. You can see little bigger tokens there. And it's, oh, just a power of one. Yeah, not until you hit the thing. Then it gets really pissed off. So, this, where's it going to go? Uh, on the highway. And on the highway, um, chaos token closest to town. It's going to be Ingeberg right there. So that goes there. Oh, no, now we got a Zed's mob. Not a strong Zed mob yet, but they're going to get strong. Oh, good gracious. So, oh, before I did that, really, I was supposed to roll to see how far down our infection goes. <laughs> five one two three four five that's not good and it's six to two they got a three times advantage over these now not defiant civilians but we get a one shift oh, <laughs> oh i got a couple dice here i feel better about these dice here though so three over to a two we're gonna roll the dice see what happens <gasps> we got a ten that's pretty good yeah so two and two zeds take two damage and retreat and the civilians take two damage. So that hey. was pretty darn nice. It's about as good as we could hope for. So Zeds retreat after taking two damage. These guys take two damage. So again, one, two flips them over. And they're down to a measly little one strength. But they managed to defend Lefty's Pass 
for now. The Living Dead. St. Thomas Historic Graveyard bursts with the undead. Oh, fine. Place two new regular Zed units as Zed's mob on the St. Thomas Village space. Where's that at? Where's that at? St. Thomas. Where's the St. Thomas Village space? What? Huh? What? Oh my gosh. St. Thomas Village space. Great. Great. The Living Dead. Great. Rusty Stop is going to move four. One, two, three, four. Comes up to aid these fleeing villagers. Now, first gunfire attack costs zero ammo. So we're going to use an action. And we are going to fire at those Zeds and see if we can knock down that six. So uh, where are we at? His his uh, attack, gunfire attack is four. Rolling the dice, we get a nine. That's pretty good. That does two damage to these Zeds. So we'll apply one damage to these guys to flip them over. Make them weaker. And then uh, we'll just keep it up. We'll just do that. Okay. Not bad at all, sir. Good shooting. Rusty Stob pulls through, at least for now. Now, ah, yes, the mother of inventions. Let's see if we can get her rolling. Let's use her action. We're going to do a research. Research action coming right up. We need to roll. Now, she gets a plus one to her rolls. We need to roll three, four, five, or six. So, actually, a two, three, four, five, or six. So, anything but a one. Whoa, that was close. So, two. Plus one because of her uh, bioengineering PhD, she gets plus one. We get to flip over this early research. See what happens. What do we get? Immediately retreat the Zed's unit in any one space. Oh. Okay, you can read a little flavor text if you want. But retreat the Zed's unit in any one space, you say. Oh, well, we'll do. Um, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Yes, indeed. We're going to brush these guys back. Oh, that's big. Because that was going to get two infection every time these guys, uh, well, every time we flipped a card over. So that pushes those guys back. That's huge. Now if we can get this guy to roll around and take up space here again, that would be awesome. Skipping forward a little bit. Unchecked after unchecked infection <laughs> occurred as we uh, unfortunately drew two brains cards, which has the Zeds, all tracks moving. And every time they win, they keep advancing. They keep, they're hungry. They're after your brains. And so uh, they just plowed through the suburbs track, plowed through the mountain track. They're on the brain. If they, if they entered the city, town center there, we lose. We're also, chaos is just, we're surrounded by chaos. We are chaos token lists. If we have to put out another one, we lose. And we had a mountain night assault, some sewer zeds. So all of the zeds came out of the sewers and ended up in odd spots out here. Just, it's not a good place to be a human right now in Farmingdale. But during all those infections and check, unchecked infections, I got some fate cards drawn. And I got, I think I see somebody and community organizer. That allowed me to draw or randomly get some heroic so so I got to pick a heroic civilian which now with the clarion car couriers here it allows me one last shot so now usually you lose if the zeds make it to town center just done but now if I manage to throw them back it's only if they win in town center do I lose so <laughs> it's still it's still very hopeless folks it really is and I've got Captain Piazza here at the end I'm gonna have her march down and try and eliminate some chaos tokens here so we can shore that up but there is a I mean we're gonna lose I'm dead I'm probably in this next event but depending on how far you get you do get to score your game on how many refugees make it back and a few other things and so you can kind of see how terribly you lost or not so terribly you lost but it's still fun you still just you know you can you do things you try to make it you try to to last as long as possible so even though you're most likely going to lose there's still reasons to play this game and i am out here i'm still playing this game i've got two actions to my name here what we're going to do is we're going to heal rusty stop in that healing action we can put him right out in town center that actually decreases our infection level. So all the way down to zero. I haven't seen that in a while. Uh, that was one action. And then we're just going to use him to just plow in. We need to try and throw these guys back that have entered suburbia. We do not get that bonus. But hand to hand, he's a little vicious. He's kind of ticked off when he's taking a little damage. He only got one. He's not flipped over his, to that side. He's just taking one hit. He's dead. But five is going to be his hand to hand strength. 
So now we have to raise that infection again. And 14, so that is, they have a, a two times advantage, but that's okay because, I mean, it's just, it's not likely anyway, right? So two times advantage, we need to get a high number here. Is there anything else that he gets? Um, he's lucky, uh, his first gunfire. Yeah, yeah, let's just roll it. Let's see what happens. We get a nine. Not enough. Oh, a 10 would have been enough to throw him back. But the Zeds take one damage. Rusty takes two and gets thrown back. One damage. We're gonna have to. We have to try to take out this guy's tough. This guy's this uh, particular super Zed. You have to roll on a four, five, or six. The hit goes through. Good. Hit went through. But they stay put. He now has to take two damage. Either of which will kill him. But he's rugged, so he only gets hit. Well, he doesn't get hit if you roll a five or six. So first hit. <gasps> he dodges the first hit. <laughs> oh. Rusty dies. Now, but he's lucky. So now we have to do a saving roll. We roll two dice, and if this is a four, five, or six, we save him. And we rolled snake eyes because that's how this game's been going for me. Anyway. Death, my pile. I have a pile in my cemetery. We don't even have time to bury these people appropriately. There's just stacks of dead. So... That went well as usual, and Rusty Stab, R.I.P. Let's have the Mother Invention flip that token over, one, two, three. Let's see here, she needs to roll a four, five, or six. Uh, that turned down the loud music, that was awesome. That had these guys go back, but that has long since occurred and fairly meaningless right now. She needs a four, five, or six, move up. Oh, she does, what do we get? Researches Zed's Jerky. Mmm, you can read that text if you want. That's pretty sweet. Okay. One, two. Supplies. I mean, it's better than nothing. We're getting closer. We need to get down to this late research to be able to develop super weapon. I don't think we're going to make it. Anyway, let's reset. Uh, oh, wait. Ooh, 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 ooh. Emergency broadcast system. Wait a second. That's right. Once may spend one emergency body to provide one free action to any above ground regular civil civilian units or any refugees. Okay. Let's do that. Above ground. So let's have these guys here shoot at here. So that, um, that will be their action, above ground, regular. So strength three, firing, we spent an ammo, we roll. We've got a seven, we hit for one. Let's just keep trying to take this guy out. We need a four, five, or six for that hit to count. It's a six, Don't, ah, take it, suck it, bam. Yeah, much more manageable there. Whittling away these Zeds knocking on our door. And, oh crap, I forgot to move her. Uh, well, whatever. Um, anybody else can go? No, I think we finally have exhausted all of our actions. The more people you have, sometimes you get more free actions, which is pretty cool. Move right along. Ah, oh, some tough Zeds, you say. So four arch refugees, one of them move. We'll move these, wait. Anybody else? No, these guys. And then we roll for infection. Okay, we got pretty, pretty good there, yep. Needed to get four or less. We are okay. Got to eat. Moving supplies one. Beginning the phase. Placing new Zeds. Unit on the mountain track starts phase. Great. What do we have? Friend the little fiber. We move up twice on the mountain track. And so this could be it. Whoa. Flip that go over. Okay. So these guys move into town. If they win this battle, we lose. They're going to go up against our strongest. That's going to be these guys. We get no buffs or benefits. It's 11 to three. That's a three times advantage. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we just got eaten. You know what? I am going to take these dice and give them a special little, little hand action. Three times advantage. We have to roll a 12 or we die. And we roll a six for death. So after you get slaughtered, there's a great way to score the game. Just kind of see how well you lost and so you just add up your whoever survived at least for now i got seven here and then you get three for each of these refugees that are still on the board and then also too you'll get some points if you manage to have some uh, a respectable amount of supplies and respectable infection level of course so in this case i got 19 but then you have to subtract all these chaos tokens that are out there and then however many event cards are left which left me at uh, less than zero. And as you can see here, after I added up the good, subtracted the bad, I got the ugly, less than zero. So you can read kind of 
how you did there, one to five, six to 12, etc. Very fun. I'm okay with losing. I have a phobia of zombies and I feel like I should be zombie food. So this feels natural to me, but fear not if that's a bit much and you prefer to adjust the levels, you can. You have a button, like 14, 15 different ways you can alter the game to make it a little more pro player, a little easier. And there's also ways too, if you really want to make the Zeds tougher, pro Zeds options, which continues on over here down a whole list. And this game can seem to be a bit much, but you can also learn it step by step. This does a great job of introducing you game by game. If you wanna do an introduction game, very basic, and then level one outbreak adds a couple little things to it adds to that and then this will add to that all and it just kind of introduces you step by step through six games here all the way up to the director's cut which is what I played and you can kind of take it bite-sized chunks so that is it that is Dawn of the Zeds third edition I appreciate you joining me thanks for watching and until next time on Board Game Rants and I'm out